reduction to the fourth division last season have made a remarkable start to this season, which is now coming up to about halfway through. They played 19 games, won 12 of them, drawn four and lost just three. And the net result of that consistency means Swindon Town are now well entrenched in second place and are being heavily tipped to come straight back into the third division next season. Well, John, what's happened, do you think, to make Swindon Town suddenly become so successful? It's hard to put your finger on it. Uh, we've only one new player from last season, that's Lee Bernard from Portsmouth. Uh, I think it's a spirit amongst the lads. They've worked at it hard on and off the field, and we've got a few youngsters in the side which have helped with the enthusiasm. But I think it's just the, the confidence and the belief they've got in themselves now. Is there much difference between the third and fourth division? We found very little. We thought we were going to find quite a difference. Uh, we've heard that they were just kick and rush players, but we've had some good games against fourth division side, so I would say there's a little, but very little, possibly in the top few teams. Now you won 18 out of your last 19 matches, and it is suggested by many other managers, and whether you agree or not, I'd like to find out, that teams can get into winning ways. Do you adhere to that? I would say so. Um, we've been through both now since I've been manager. Last season we started very well, went to the top of the league, and then we got relegated by getting into a rut of defeats, um, which saw us relegated at the end of last season. This season we've got into the winning ways again, and as you say, I think you do get in ruts, and we go out believing now that we're going to win. Well, let's have a look at now some of your youngsters that are playing in your side, because it would be wrong to suggest that they're all coming to the twilight of their careers. I mean, you have an 18-year-old connection of three players. Let's start with Paul Rideout, we can see here. Talk about him. Well, Paul came into the side when he was 16, when I first took over as manager, and he's a tremendous prospect for a striker. He's got 13 goals, although seven's penalties, but he hasn't missed one yet, so, you know, it all adds up to the total. Um, tremendous prospect. And then we have another namesake, young Paul Batty. Paul came in midfield for us uh, after about a dozen games. We felt we needed a little bit change in there, and I like to bring youngsters in and then leave them out for a spell, but we've done so well with him in there that I've left it alone, and I think he's gone about 15 games now without uh, losing his place. A journalist nightmare next. Now, Colin Bailey, that's spelled B-A-I-L-I-E. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about him. Well, Colin uh, came in at uh, right back for the Brentford replay, and again on Saturday. Um, two tremendous games. Um, an Irish lad. I got him when I was youth manager, which I did the other two as well. So it's even more pleasing for me to see them come through and make the first team. And these three youngsters, you think, together with the rest of the team, can take you back into the third division? We're there at the moment. It's a long season, and I wouldn't like to prophesy anything. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a hard slog now to the end of the season, but with this spirit we've got in the club and the confidence that the lads have got, I'm sure we're, we'll be there or thereabouts. Well, our thanks, John. You're now heading back to Swindon, where tonight a number of new directors are expected to join the board. Now, Swindon are in much need of cash injection, and the new directors are expected to bring in at least £80,000. And this is how it's going to work. An extraordinary general meeting of the board will be asked to change the company's articles and increase the number of directors from 9 to 12. If this is agreed, three new directors will be proposed to the shareholders' meeting, which will be held later tonight. Nick Arkell will be one of the three. He's a director of a large local brewery. Brian Hillier, who was co-opted onto the board several weeks ago, will also be standing for election. And the third new director is Gary Herbert. He's a local building contractor and civil engineer. And a fourth new director is likely to be co-opted after the shareholders' meeting. Now, he's Colin Howard, a farmer and haulage contractor from Devizes. It's hoped that these new appointments will generate new cash, which will...